everyone. Good afternoon. It's Friday, which means it's normally pretty slow on Facebook, but um, God showed me a really cool picture today. So I thought I would share. I am in St. Augustine, Florida. My daughter is um, here for some job interviews. She's transferring uh, to school here in January, so she's trying to secure employment. So anyway, she needed to get down here for a couple of job interviews, and I came down with her. So it was a very spontaneous trip. Hi, Tina. Um, it was a very spontaneous trip, and so last week she finds out she has these two interviews, and this week um, we had to be down here. So. Um, we, you know, scramble for cheap flights. Hi, Tammy. We scramble for cheap flights and we scrape our pennies and I sell some stuff on garage sale, um, you know, Facebook pages and we come down. But for days, as you know, before we were flying in yesterday, the weather is saying hurricanes hurt. Sorry, I lost you guys there for a second. Hurricanes, so all over Florida, it looked like it was coming from both sides of the Gulf, and then there were some coming from the other side, and hurricanes, hurricanes. Hi, Charlene. So um, I was looking at the weather all week thinking, oh my gosh, we are literally flying, we were flying into Orlando and then driving two hours to St. Augustine. So I'm thinking, oh my goodness, we're literally flying into um, hurricanes, according to the weather. And, it, you know, I'm reading this from Chicago, and it looks like, that it's just mass chaos in the state of Florida. And I thought for a minute, like, should we cancel? Should we postpone? Should we talk about rescheduling these job interviews next week? What do we do? There's a hurricane. Florida is like being overtaken by a hurricane. And the funny thing is, our flight was supposed to land yesterday at 2.39, no, 2.29, 2.29 p.m. And if you looked at the weather, it looked like the storm was hitting at two o'clock. So I'm like, not only are we flying into a hurricane, but we're actually landing during the onset of the hurricane. So anyway, make a long story short, for days I just kind of asked the Lord, what, what do we do? Do you want us to fly in? Do we postpone? What do we want to do here? And I just really had peace about going. I didn't, I don't know, he didn't say not to go. So we flew in yesterday. We had some rental car issues, so we were up there for a little um, while longer, but um, by the time we ended up driving and getting back to St. Augustine, or getting to St. Augustine, it was 8 o'clock at night, but you know what? The, the storms were nothing. They, it would rain. Even now, it's, it's kind of sunny, a little bit rainy. It's just been both. Thank you, Tammy. It's just been... Um, both like a little bit of sunny and a, and a little bit of rainy then a little bit of sunny and a little bit of rainy and then you know what we get to St. Augustine and everything is shut down schools are canceled and um, businesses have signs up that they're all closed down because of the weather and there's nothing going on <laughs> there's no weather and so I know in other parts of Florida there is um, I, I think like Cedar Key or Cedar cape or something like that I saw that there was some stuff going on but where we're at um, it went literally to the north and, and south of us so thank you Tina and Tina praise the Lord yes so here's here's my point of telling you guys this um, I prayed ahead of time I rebuked the storm I praised Jesus and trusted him just said you know what? I just trust you if you want to stop the plane if you want them to cancel it that's great but I feel peace we're going well then we get here and everybody's shut down because of what's coming. The the um, governor of the state even called the state of emergency in like a gazillion counties, including Orlando County, and nothing happened. All these businesses and schools shut down. Nothing happened in most of these places. So here's my point. If there's a hurricane coming in your life, the natural tendency, I spoke about this a little bit last week. Oops, I need to plug in my phone. Hang on one second. Um, I spoke about this a little bit last week, that the natural tendency is to look at the storm, to look at the problem that, that the enemy wants us, to wants to distract us and have us look at the problem. When we do that, we take our eyes off of Jesus. When we take our eyes off of Jesus, that's when we get in trouble. So with this hurricane, it's no different. What happened was the weather is the weather. Hi, Heather. The weather is the weather, and obviously we need to use wisdom. So when it, and the, the weathermen all say there's a hurricane coming, there's a storm of brewing, 
obviously we need to use wisdom. But here's the thing. Most people think that wisdom means do what, what, what you're supposed to do because there's a hurricane coming. So, you know, board up the houses, shut down the businesses, cancel school. That's wisdom, right? Because there's a hurricane coming. That is not wisdom. Wisdom is seeking the Lord and saying, what do you want me personally to do with this hurricane coming? I hope this makes sense. So um, the thing I, I sought the Lord today, I'm like, this is too good. I, I've got to talk about this because it's amazing. Everybody reacted to the stories about the storm coming and ends up in this particular town and in Orlando, there really wasn't any storms. There, they were... I, they were talking about how the police were all so busy yesterday because there was tornado watches. There was no tornadoes. They just talked about the tornadoes. So they're talking about tornadoes. They're talking about the storm. They're talking about the hurricane. And the entire county shut down because of all the storm talk. But wisdom is you seek the Lord. I'm talking on a personal level now. So for me, it was personally going, hey, do you want us to fly into this hurricane weather or do you want us to cancel and postpone? And God gave me peace to go forward and ends up, he was absolutely right. There's nothing going on here. Um, but I'm talking personal storm. So as I sought him, hi Steve, hi Adrian, hi Penny. So as I sought him for, when, once I saw how cool this picture was, that all these people shut down because of the talk of the storm, but nothing's going on. They didn't have to do that. And I realized, hey, this is a great this is this is a great message in this picture. I asked him, where in the Bible do we see this? And it's the same. It's when the um, Israelites refused to enter the Promised Land because of the talk of what awaited them there. So you can read it in Numbers 13, and again in Deuteronomy one they talk about well the people they're they're taller and they're bigger and they're more than us and you know i really i don't think we should go i don't think we should fly into that hurricane <laughs> i don't think we should enter into that storm because from the talk it's this great crazy storm and we need to use, we need to use wisdom and just kind of stay back well the lord had already told them go you can go i'm gonna give them into your hand you can go and they still decided to listen to all the swarming talk of the storm and not go in. They sent spies. God told them to send spies. Send spies. They sent spies and they saw that it was going to be dangerous. Hi Mary. And decided to, to listen to the talk. They decided to listen to um, the talk and give in to fear. Fear and wisdom, there's that fine line there. And they decided to give in to the fear and not enter the promised land. Okay, so now in my situation, what that would it look like is, oh my gosh, there's hurricanes coming into Florida. We need to cancel and not go. That's wisdom, right? We need to cancel and not go. No, wisdom is asking the Lord, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go? So, hi, Mary, you're raving. So, and hi, Stacy. So, here's the thing. Whether your storm is, let's say, a cancer diagnosis or a food allergy diagnosis, which seems to be more and more prominent these days, or if you're, your storm or your hurricane, the, the, the uh, forecast of your hurricane, let's say your spouse says they're leaving or your child gets sick or, I mean, you know, our storms and hurricanes come in all different forms. What is wisdom there? Wisdom is not entering into the storm or just kind of battening down your hatches and waiting for the storm to overtake your life and then begging God to help. Wisdom is seeking Him first. Okay, Lord, the ons I'm starting to hear talk of this storm. I see symptoms in my body or the doctor is wanting to do tests because of this. Hi, Haley. Um, the doctor is wanting to perform some tests because of this. Or you know what? My husband has been has been distant or my wife has been distant and I and I detect that there's something going on with them that maybe they're unhappy with me or whatever. Um, the talk of the storm. We can either give in and start making decisions right at the onset of the talk of the storm that the world tells us to make, which is start scheduling cancer treatments and um, or, you know, hire a divorce lawyer or Hey Mary, holy stuff today, sister. <laughs> Thank you. Um, or just, you know, even just crying in fear of what of the storm that's coming. But wisdom says, seek the Lord and ask him what to do first. If you've got a cancer diagnosis, do not get sucked into the world's way of handling that, which is all of a sudden start calling specialists, telling everybody that you have cancer, pumping yourself full of chemicals, and giving in to the sadness and the fear of the whole thing. Go to the Lord and say, 
my hurricane forecast says that there's cancer in my body. What do you say I should do? Do you want me to fly into this hurricane um, in, in courage and in natural medicine? Or in, do you want me to go, is there a certain doctor you want me to go to? Do you want me not to claim this? Is this, you know, whatever it is, he knows what he wants you to do. So if you, I'm kind of, rambling at this point but the point is if you start to hear about a storm in your life the very very first thing you need to do is ask God what do you want me to do in this storm because here's what the world says the world says I should cower in fear batten down the hatches and that this is going to be devastating that's what the world says this hurricane in my life is going to be devastating and I need to hide and God's wisdom says I don't care what the talk is I say Go in wisdom, which means come come to him. Ask him what that wisdom is. Ask him for strategy. Get your intercessors on board to start asking for strategy. And read uh, Numbers 13. Read Deuteronomy um, 1, where the Israelites made a mistake of listening to the talk of what the storm was instead of entering in. And uh, anyway, it is raining now, but look, it's still sunny. So even in the midst of all these hurricane mornings, rain here and there and sun, 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 because God is good. So I do want to end by praying for the people of Florida that were hit. So, Lord, I don't even know the counties. I think north of us and south of us where we're at right now. But I just pray, Father, that you would send your angels. Um, give people just your joy that will be their strength in the middle of this battle, Lord. And I pray that you would rescue people, that you would send angels and humans to uh, rescue people and to help. And that you would be glorified above all else. And we pray for safety for all. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.